I am Anil Kumar and here is a practice question for you. You need to solve equations with rational coefficients. The strategy which we have learned is create equivalent equation and then solve by inverse operation. So first you need to create an equivalent equation which you create by multiplying each term by the lowest common denominator. Once you have an equation without fractional part then you perform the inverse operations and solve for x. You can pause the video now, answer and then look into my suggestion. So first step is to find the lowest common denominator. We have 5 and 2, so 5 times 2 is 10. So that is the lowest common denominator. So I'll multiply each and every term by 10. So the equation given to us is x minus 2 over 5 minus 2 equals to x plus 1 over 2, right? We'll multiply each term by 10. So that is what it means, right? So times 10. Now, multiplying by 10, dividing by 5, results into 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I could write this as 2 times x minus 2. And here we have minus 20 equals to x plus 1 times 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now we can expand and simplify. So we have 2x minus 4 minus 20 equals to 5x plus 5. The left side effectively is 2x minus 24 and the right side is 5x plus 5. At this stage, you need to group the variables, right? So we need to group both variables on one side and the constants on the other right so that is what we have to do so to group variables what can we do we can take away 2x from both the sides right so we can do minus 24 equals to 5x plus 5 this time i'm collecting the variables on the right side so we are removing the left side variable part which is minus 2x most of the time, you should do it on the left side. I prefer to do it on the right side this time since 5x is greater than 2x. So I'm avoiding the negative terms as coefficient of variable. So we have minus 24 equals to 5x minus 2x is 3x plus 5. Now we can collect constants on one side, right? So we have minus 24 equals to 3x plus 5. To do that, I have to take away 5 from the right side and also left side. That gives us 3x equals to minus 29. And to find x, what should we do? We need to divide by 3 on both the sides. So when we divide by 3 on both the sides, I'm combining steps here since I'm running out of space, then you get the value of x and you get your answer as x equals to minus 29 by 3. You get the idea, right? So that is how you can actually solve an equation which involves rational coefficients, right? So this kind of an equation has got all type of terms in it. So it really helps you to practice the strategies learned in our examples. I hope that really helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.